Welcome back to Histological Techniques at QUT. This week back in the lab and staining for iron pigment using pearl stain. So to begin we've already taken some slides down to water by deparaffinizing in xylene and taking through the graded alcohols. And once we've done that, we want to give those slides a good rinse in deionized water, especially for a stain of this type, where if there are traces of iron in the water, that could lead to contamination issues. So to begin, after rinsing the slides well, we need to prepare our solution for staining. And it's in equal parts of 2% hydrochloric acid. Now on this occasion I have around eight slides there to be stained so if we just measure out approximately four mils of the hydrochloric acid we can then combine that with an equal volume of the potassium ferrocyanide. Let's get rid of that. Right, so the next reagent is the potassium ferrocyanide and it's important to always check that you have the correct reagent there as to not confuse it with potassium ferricyanide used in the Schmalz stain. So once again, just carefully measure out using these transfer pipettes. You can get a, a reasonably good measure of one mil at a time with the markings that are on these pipettes. Here we go. So four mils of the potassium ferrocyanide. Okay, so it's best to prepare this fresh just before use. So we've got our tubes there. So we'll simply now flick off the deionized water and it is important to try and get most of that off so that we don't dilute our stain too much and then we simply mix the four mils on this occasion four mils of the potassium ferrocyanide with our hydrochloric acid and once that's been mixed well we can simply place that onto each of the slides. And having a total of eight mils on this occasion gives us sufficient to put one mil per slide. Okay, so once those slides are staining, we can actually do a demonstration using test tubes as to what's actually going on here. If we take a solution of ferric ions in solution, of course these would naturally come from the tissue, but in this occasion if we take some ferric ions in solution and we apply our potassium ferrocyanide, see that it's quite yellow, the ferric chloride, but when we add the potassium ferrocyanide, we effectively produce that ferric ferrocyanide or pearls Prussian blue. So that's the colour change that we should see on the slide wherever there are Fe3 plus ions which are incorporated into the tissue in structures like hemosiderin. Okay, so now having stained those slides, we can give those another rinse with deionized water. And if there's a very high concentration of Fe3 plus ions, we may be able to see a blue discoloration. In fact, here's our control section. This is a control section of liver, which has got quite pronounced hemosiderin present within it. So very high concentrations of Fe3 plus ions. 
Uh, so it's looking over to the wet microscope. What we can see here is that the Fe3 plus ions have been released from hemosiderin in this liver by the hydrochloric acid and then before they can migrate away they are precipitated in place with the potassium ferrocyanide to form this pearls Prussian blue. So we can see a nice demonstration there of those granular deposits. Finally, you've actually got a choice with the counter stain that you use and you may recall some of the, the colourful alternatives that Chris Casier has been experimenting with here in the lab. But on this occasion we're going with the standard nucleophase red and we apply that for approximately three to five minutes. Once stained, then we rinse the slides well. And it's actually quite important to do this step thoroughly by placing the slides into a rack such as this and then leave the water running in the sink for about three to five minutes because you can occasionally get some precipitate of undissolved stain that can sit on the slides and that makes it a bit difficult to see things clearly. On this occasion though hopefully that's been well rinsed. So again looking at the slide while it's wet it's not ideal optics but you can see here there's now just a light pink blush through the back of the the tissue there and if we just increase the magnification here we should be able to see those lovely blue granules of hemosiderin within the liver. Obviously we get better optics once this has been dehydrated, cleared and mounted. And so now switching over to the final view, we can see here in the final mounted slide, really lovely demonstration of hemosiderin which more precisely is showing us Fe3 plus ions.